uh, hi in this video we will talk about methods to print exception information so till now we are saying that exception will occur and will handle all these things but if i want to print that exception properly on the console so how many ways you can do and what information you can print okay so there are few methods available to print that exception information so we'll discuss one by one so the first one is e dot print stack trace e is that exception object in the catch block okay e dot print stack trace is one method e or e dot two string method and e dot get message method so all these three methods are inside the throwable class because it is the parent class if it is having these three all the child classes will also access this method so whatever exception you use so on that exception object you can call these methods okay and now so e dot print stack trace so what exactly it will print so it will print the name of the exception colon description of the exception and then the stack trace so if you talk, if you see one of the examples you see java dot lang dot arithmetic exception that is exception colon description of that exception what is that division by 0 and then stack trace it is happening at this line in this program in this line so this is how you will get the output when you use e dot print stack trace so the second one e or e dot two string so that time it will not print stack trace but it will print name of the exception and the description of the exception you see that like this okay so e dot get message so it will print only description of the exception you see division by 0 it will print only this information okay so one of by taking one example we'll see all these things let me go to visual studio code so here i have written one exception mean one one program methods to print exception information inside that main method i have a try in, inside the try i am using one exception code that is it will raise arithmetic exception so arithmetic exception so after this so i'll print that information so the e means this exception object okay so what is that we are talking about e dot print stack trace okay e dot print stack trace so if you try to execute this you sorry why did me mistake why it cannot allow here sorry e e dot print stack trace you should not put inside the system dot out dot print error okay so already print stack trace will contain that output statements so no need to put that okay you see that methods to print so we need to compile and execute it seems give me one second so first we will try to compile so now you execute this now you get the exact information you see java dot lang dot arithmetic exception division by 0 and stack trace where exactly it is coming right we need to compile and execute if you directly execute it will give some extra information but if this is the ideal way so if you execute it from the ide is also intellij or eclipse you will get this information okay so now this is one and the second one is just print e okay system dot out dot print ln i'll print e so if you try to compile this and then run this you see that exception and description right no stack trace so e dot two string also you will give it will give the same thing so internally it will already call two string if you put except you know um, explicitly or not doesn't make any sense but if you put something like this also you'll get the same output let me try to execute you see that same information the other one is e dot get message okay 
if you put e dot get message and if you execute uh, try to compile and execute you see that division by zero only description right so with the help of these three methods whatever information you want to capture you can capture that information if you don't want all these track trace all these things you can just go with e dot get message if you want everything you can you can use e dot print stack trace okay so this is how you can you these are the methods to print your exception information okay so what could be the possible interview questions from here so what are the methods available to print the exception information and different between these methods so if you say e dot print stack trace what it will exactly print if you use e what exactly it will print if you put get message so what it will print right so that's all in this video thank you